hope you're enjoying so far. We still have a little bit of this encounter to go. Uh, not this encounter, but this entire uh, adventure. I think we can finish this adventure tonight. I think. Probably. Probably. We got this. We got this. Anyhow, I'm going to quickly go pee. That was maybe too much information. But I'm going to go pee, and then I'm going to be back after I get myself a drink after I pee. There will be separate things. Why did I have to specify that? d has got me in a weird mood, man. All right. So, you guys got these. You got a dead body. You got two unconscious. One's nearly just one's just probably going to die. The one that you light on fire. Mm -hmm. What do you do? What are you guys going to do? Throw him in the river. <laughs> <laughs> um, you could do I'm that. Fine. I'm fine. No one will um, ever know. Hmm? Mm. Their friends will never find them. <laughs> I mean, I I agree. We, we should hold them under for a couple minutes just in case. Suppose. Throw them in mm -hmm. the river. Hmm. But I am I am interested in what the the bandit who's got a grudge against me can mention something about his aunt saying that Ellie is touched by the gods. That made me think of the the mm, priestess yeah. that we talked to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> True. Makes me a little uh, suspicious. Do you want to try to stabilize him then so then you can talk to him? Yeah. Is this before or after you throw the other two in the in the river, out of curiosity? Um I think if we th if we throw them in the river now, he's not gonna be as cooperative. No, oh, that's fair. Hmm. All right, then, who wants to run the medicine check? I can wait. Oh, um, I'll do the medicine. I think I have really good medicine skills. Go for it. Eat their candy, swap their shoes, disarm God, so many things. So, sorry, which guy is he? Ooh. Kitten's commander had a... It's the one directly across from Elfie. Not the one diagonally. This but, one? um... I think it was... Kittens came up with a good point. Do you disarm him? Do you... You guys oh, both do have a uh, rope, I believe. Yeah, I, I normally wouldn't tell you guys this, but... Should. What do you want to do? Um... I do not have any rope. No? I've got some rope. I've got some hemp rope. Okay, My yeah. We should, we should tie him up then. All right. Like tie him to the tree or something. <laughs> you want to tie him to a tree? Mm hmm. All right. What tree you want to tie him to? Yeah, Put his pants on one. backwards. Well, well, this 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 tree that I'm right next to is still is probably burning a little bit. So yeah, that's probably not the one you want to put it on. Um, maybe this one because it's you know big, sturdy. This yeah, this one. Okay, right. but we'll have to like drag him over there. I'll say you guys did it. Like, okay. there's two of you. You can, even if Elfie's just pushing at his feet. Like, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, who's doing the medicine check again? I, uh, me. All mm -hmm. right. Go ahead and do a medicine check. That is a skill. Oh, shit. All right, so can I do one? Uh, since, since you failed, late. or is that a like? Too that's late? failed. That's a one. I can't. No. I can't have... So. Okay. Uh, Elfie, she. She's trying to stop the bleeding, but in the process, maybe out of bloodthirst, or maybe out of um, maybe out of just negligence and just bad luck or something. I don't know which one it is. She shoves her thumb clear into the hole that was uh, where her arrow used to be. And she's just like, I Oops. can fix him if I can just get inside. Flip of the thumb. Yep. Then she just shoves her whole entire hand into, into the bandit. He wakes up for a second Sees there's a hand inside his chest. Passes out. She's grabbing his heart. 
She's really bad at this. She fumbled this beyond belief. She feels the pulsing, and she thinks, okay, this will stop the bleeding. Squeezes the heart until it no longer beats. Ruptures a little bit. Pulls her hand out, wipes it on her, <laughs> wipes on her armor, and goes, that should do it. Yeah, it's fine. Yep. That's no. Oh. Elfie, you watched all this That's not how that happen. works. That's not how that works, Ellie. <laughs> yep, he's dead. Not how... Yep, not bleeding anymore. He's fine. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I think, and, I think he and, died. and now we can't talk to him. Good job. I think, I think he died. Sorry. Um, yep. Uh, I'm yeah. gonna imagine you take your rope back. Whatever. Yep. My, my right. bloody rope. Uh. You gonna throw all of them in the river, or are you gonna take this last guy and chance, uh... Chance trying to talk to him? Well, you know what? He's alive. I'm- a, I- can I- can I do a medicine check on him? You can absolutely do a medicine check on him. A hundred percent. Okay. Um... Should I disarm him first? I mean, he's probably gonna die pretty soon anyway. I don't really know what he would do. Yeah, I would say that all you are is prolong. All you're trying to do is prolong his agony. <laughs> He's unconscious and bleeding out right now. You're gonna make him awaken and bleeding out soon. Okay. Ah. Twenty one. All right. You stabilize him. He's coming to. Uh, what do you do to stabilize him? Out of curiosity. Uh, that's a good question. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't have anything. I, I didn't think about that. Well, you stabilize him. He's coming to. Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, what's what's up? Where are my friends? Um, don't don't worry about them. Um, uh, I want to know. I want to know who sent you. Oh, we, oh, we just, we're just highwaymen. We just, we capture. We, we like. Oh, uh, he's screaming. He's in a lot of pain. It's like, oh my god. All we do is just, oh, I. Oh, we just, we, we sometimes rob people, and sometimes we, we take them and sell them to other people. It's it's a weird economy we living in. Oh, okay. So you're you were cute. You're traffickers. That's that's great. We don't no. We we kidnap people. They are the traffic. We don't make traffic. He doesn't understand your trafficking he terms. He's understand. just like I take people and I sell them. He's pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. You didn't have your fancy edumacation. Hmm. You're about to be some river traffic if you don't tell us why you're following us. I said we just randomly take down people that travel through this area. We just take them, we sell them, we get... <laughs> we get money. And this time I got fucking burnt. So you weren't, you weren't sent by the priestess from Hushire? Fucking priestess! Then why would the priestess hire me? Okay, that's all I wanted to know. He's coughing up blood. He's just—he looks down at his burnt, charred body. Oh, why didn't you just kill me? Kill is that me. what? You, is that what, what if, you uh, want? <laughs> what if we promise to take him somewhere where he can get some good medical help? If he'll tell us, you could do that, but I don't know what else he would tell you. Okay, just just kill me. Uh, I think it'd be quicker if you did it's it. It's my personality to mistrust everyone. Is <laughs> all I can do is just bludgeon him to death, and that's just messy. This is true. Hold him under under in the river and for a few minutes, you know. <laughs> Do you want to just toss them all in the river, or how are you gonna? What are you gonna do with this guy? <laughs> um. 
<laughs> Fine. I don't I don't think we're gonna get anything else out of him, so we we could just leave him, because that's I don't know. You're just gonna leave me! You cowards! I knew you elf folks and you gnome folks were scum leaving a poor innocent man like me to die! Um, can I whack him with my quarterstaff? You can whack him with your quarterstaff? Go for it, man. Like, I won't even make you roll for attack to do that. He's, you're gonna hit him. <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> what? All right. Um, he's just, he's just kind of annoyed. He's just like, get that out of my fucking face. He's like, he felt he's bad doing for him more damage to himself writhing <laughs> in pain than he is from this uh, little whatever this was. Let's just, let's just dump him in the river. Oh my god. <laughs> dump him in the river? Just dump him in the river. Here, this will cool you off. <laughs> All right, just toss them all in the river. You got it. He sees you toss the friends in the river. He's like, "Yo, are you gonna fucking let me drown? You elf scum, you gnome scum, I never." Yeah, shut up. Yeah, it's a lot quieter now that he's underwater. <laughs> all, all right, right, so you guys, yeah. that was a good encounter, don't you think? Oh. Mm -hmm. Normally, I would ask if you looted them before you threw them in the river, but did you loot them before oh, yeah, you threw I them forgot. in the river? You did? Um, while she was, quote-unquote, rescuing the other guy, I, uh, you know, might have dug through the pockets of the other two dead guys. Okay. So let me just uh, figure out what you guys got. So you only looted two of the bodies then? Mm-hmm. Okay, let me just press this. All right, all together, you do find 29 silver pieces. Are you going to share that between yourselves, or are you going to keep that all for yourself? Um, I don't know. I'll just keep it. <laughs> okay, cool. I mean, I did two of the deaths, so, you know. All right. Only fair. Whatever, 29 plus 15 equals uh, 44. <laughs> hey, Jesse. What do you got there? Oh, I thought I heard stuff. It's just your bag. Oh, you got stuff in your bag. Ooh, bag stuff. Oh, well, thank you for getting things anyways, Jesse. I appreciate it. I got things for me. Oh, okay. You got things for you. Very cool. I'd like, to, right. I'd like to loot Jesse's bag. <laughs> you can, no, you're not going to loot your friend's bag. <laughs> not right now, at least. Right. <laughs> so, after this encounter, you guys are both... It's not that you're... Well, Elfie's a little injured. But you're both kind of worn out. Elfie's magic is pretty worn out at this point. Um, would you guys like to take a rest? You guys are very close to where this goblin camp is. Um, well, uh, I, I think if, if we take a, sh if we take a rest, um, do like do my wounds like, heal up? Cause I've got the cut on my leg and stuff. You would heal up. Yes. You get a short rest? Uh, possibly a long rest or a short rest. What do you guys want? Long or short? I think we should, we should proceed and then find a safe place to rest and then rest, yes. Okay, you guys want to make camp in a place nearby? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, then you'll probably do a long rest, I'm guessing. Just get that going real quick. Ah, uh, we'll do... Roll Perception. Uh... Whatever one. One of you has to roll perception. You can make up. You can decide who you want to. I'll do it. I'll do it. Are All we right. just? Do you want to roll it like right here, or is it? Does it matter where we are? It. It doesn't matter where you are. Just roll it right here. Okay. Where it is. 
Okay. So, as you are traveling, trying to find a good place to make camp... Ah, God. I have to move slightly. As you're looking for a good place to make camp, night does actually begin to fall. But... You do discover an encampment of caravans. Let me just put you guys down somewhere. There you go. You guys are in the bottom of the map. Discover encampment of caravans. Clearly traders' caravans. Uh, everybody seems to be asleep. Find... Why can I never find the token I'm looking for? Because Ellie swiped it. <laughs> what? Who, me? Alright, so there are some caravan guards going around. What do you guys do? You guys are at this caravan camp, or what are you going to do? Um, are they going to stop us from entering the camp? Um, well... This is a trader's caravan camp, so, like, these are just all hired to keep track of who goes in, who goes out of this place. Okay. It's just a big trade caravan that uh, took a good rest. Okay. Well, I think um, if, if they're not going to bother us, then I don't want to engage with them. Okay. Uh, you guys don't want to try to, like, ask for a... Okay, whatever. Never mind. <laughs> I'm tired and I'm bleeding. I just, just want to sleep. All right. I don't want to talk to anybody. Well, a guard sees you. He approaches you. He's like, uh, "Hey, what are you guys doing out here? Are you guys part of the? Are you guys part of the? Uh, are you guys just some people we missed? We were passing by the area and we were attacked by bandits. We just barely escaped with our lives. My friend here is injured. You took out the bandits." Mm hmm. We were being drilled by some bandits earlier. Like, I think we're too big a party for them to really bother us, but, like, uh, we were definitely worried about anyone that fell behind. Yeah. Well, uh, we took care of them for you. Oh, well, uh, They're... are you expecting some kind of reward or something? Or what? What, no, what do you guys you... want? You guys look a little beat up. Any chance we could get some shelter for the night? Anywhere here? Maybe some bandages? Yeah. Did, did someone just yes, ask maybe, for the manager? Maybe, maybe a snack? The bandages! Oh. <laughs> Can I speak to your manager? <laughs> um, well, we, you know what? We definitely have a. We definitely have some room at the camp. Uh, if you want to come by, if you want to set up tents here, we keep really you safe for the night. That. that sounds great. All right. Well, if you want to. Hang out here, just set up wherever you want, and you can claim whatever one of these tents you want to be yours or whatever. Okay. All right, uh, but yeah, uh, so there's some people at the fire if you want to go talk to any of them. Appreciate it, but, man. Yeah, no I'm problem. Big empire. Okay. As you approach this uh, this fire, you can see uh, two people who are some, you can tell are nobles. They're definitely decked out in some decent guard equipment, though, just to be safe. They're maybe a little bit more paranoid. They're not used to adventuring. They're not used to encountering uh, much danger in their daily lives. They're, you, could, you might be able to tell if they're newer at being traveling merchants. Is it okay if we join you here at the campfire? We've had a rough day. Oh, yeah, sure. That's fine. Um, It's been a rough day for us, too. We've been walking. We've been walking probably about, uh, I think we've traveled about 200 miles. Not, obviously not in one day, but we've traveled about 200 miles. We're from, uh, we're from Quipmore originally. We're making our oh. first trip all the way down to the uh, Archon Theocracy. Oh, lovely. I, I hear it's beautiful this time of year. Both of them kind of laugh. 
to each other like, You've never been to the Archon Theocracy. I, I, I can tell. It's, mm -hmm. well, obviously you haven't. You both are definitely not purely human. Um, we, no. <laughs> we, we typically, it's, it's, we don't like it either. We've traveled there before. It's, it's racist as all hell. But you know what? They pay well. They have money. We take business. Oh, we, uh, we haven't traveled there. But we've heard tales of businesses traveling there. I've had to just retcon myself. <laughs> we've heard tales of people that have traveled there and made good money if you're human. Brings you guys to this area. Yeah. Hoping no, to make some just... trades. Yeah, we just gotta pass by, maybe make some money on a ways there. But, uh, either it's really fascinating. Have... Do either of you happen to have any bandages or some kind of medical supplies? I I have a little issue. Oh, yeah, we, we, we've got bandages. Um, you know what, we've... We usually don't have much of a good time selling them in... Well, I've... There's just... There's not really much of a need for them, for us, because we have such a big party. We don't usually typically run into too much trouble. But you could just take these. Throws you some bandages. Some oh, decent, high-quality bandages. They're maybe... They're silk bandages. They're lower, low-quality silk, but they're still silk, so, you know. They're nice. All right, well, I'm gonna, gonna dress up my legs so I'm not, like, you know... Bleeding everywhere. Okay. Ellie and Talia, you want to do anything while you're here, or you want to go to bed? I think we should just rest. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to do you want to go find a tent that you'll fit in, and then <laughs> I'll just I'll I'll just join you later. Yeah. So there's this really big ass tent over here. I think it's perfect. Um, <laughs> one of the <laughs> one of the merchants looks behind him. He's like, um, excuse me, you welcome to our tents, but that 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 that's my tent. Uh, it's, this one's empty, right? Yeah, that one's fine. We were... I don't really know why we made up those tents over there. <laughs> I think we we're supposed right. to sell those ones. Uh, just don't don't mess it up at all, and then we'll pretend it's still new. Well, yeah, I just had a little onion breath. Maybe some onion parts. <laughs> so, can't promise can't anything. So <laughs> might some stink what? a little bit in the morning. Excuse me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Me, oh, maybe, don't worry about it. Maybe on second thought, I'll, I'll get my own tent. <laughs> don't want oh, to yeah, go for it. We have parts. some extra tents over there. <laughs> okay. All right, so you guys are both going to go to sleep and dress <laughs> yeah. your wounds, everything else. Yeah, I'm going to sleep in this tent over here. Right. Then click on long rest. Or does it not pop up for you? Nope, I got it. Perfect. And it's oh, going to be a, a new day? Yep, it'll be a new day. Oops. All right. Let me just take care of this real quick. Okay, you got that. You're good. And Megan is good, because Megan never got damaged. Yeah. All right. I just gotta put your characters back down. <laughs> Alright, Elfie and Alantalia. You're both up. You see that everything's pretty busy right now. Um, people are wandering around. The guards are wandering around. The merchants are gone. They're probably setting everything up or just waiting for things to be set up. Oh, you guys heading out? Yeah, I'm, unless there's any any like supplies you're willing to let us take, but yeah. Um, I don't, I can't. Well, I could go see the merchant. Or at that moment, the moment money is expected to be made, a merchant runs out. He's like, "Hold on, hold on, excuse me." Excuse me, I I I have th some things to sell. Oh, okay. I'm interested in seeing what you have. 
Right, um, we don't have too much we can part with. Um, I have some... I have some rations, if you'd like to buy some rations. I have some... Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> also, let me see. Let's see. Well, you know what? I have a I have a special thing I can sell you. Um, I highly doubt that they won't have enough of these in in Arkin anyways. But I do have a healing potion, if you'd be interested. How much? Well, typically we do char I do sell these for about fifty gold. That is the running price. Hmm. Well, w would you like it? I'll, I'll throw in rations if you if you buy it. How much gold did you say? Fifty. It's fifty gold. Yes. Hmm. Any uh sides? Any what? Any, any what? Any sides? Any sides? You mean like what we use for grain? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Has anyone come by like trying to sell a scythe or purchase a scythe or anything? Um, well Hmm. That's kinda of funny you'd mention that. I I think my I think my business partner might have had something. Hmm. Uh do you want me to go get him? Sure. Yes, please. Alright, I'll go get him. Goes into the tent. You hear a little bit of bickering. Then you see his buddy come out. Oh, I, I, I'm glad that you actually... Wait, you you talking about sites? Yes. Hey, yes, go. we're inquiring if you have one or have met someone who might have sold... Tried to sell you one. I didn't... Well, it's kind of weird that you mentioned this. Um, The other day, we were just getting into Poros. Well, actually, around this region... And we had the most peculiar thing. We had these, we had a goblin dry, like carrying around this, this giant, magnificent scythe that was clearly too big for him. And he, he tried to take out one of the guards with it. He, he missed and he was, he was embarrassed and he ran off. But I found it quite odd. I found it like I've never heard of, of goblins wielding scythes. But yeah, we, we scared him off, and that was that was the end of it. But it was a very weird experience. Mm. You happen to see what direction he went? Um, I think he was going... He's south of here. Right, that's where we were heading anyway. Oh, why would you go south? Are you, are you traveling... Where are you traveling to? We're looking for that site. Oh, well... <laughs> Well, it's it's quite a very nice looking scythe, I I guess as far as scythes go. I just I never really understood what the difference was. Like it, it probably cuts grain the same, but ah, uh, yeah, I guess just it'll be a nice looking scythe for you if you're really into scythes for whatever reason. Super into scythes. Mhm. Yeah, she she really is. I will. I. I it's almost a fetish, not gonna lie. Oh, oh, oh is, is that oh, it's, it's is that kind of thing. Stuff. Um personal. I, I don't I, um you could see he's blushing, he's kinda of staring over his words. Um I'm just I uh d d tell me when we're heading out, alright, uh, I'm uh, bye. <laughs> you broke him. <laughs> his his buddy. He's originally selling the stuff. He's like, um, sorry about that. It, 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 quite strange, wasn't it? And uh, I'll go into people's houses. God <laughs> oh, damn it! Mix it up. <laughs> sorry, we broke. We broke the DM. <laughs> um. So, do you want to buy the? Are you going to buy the potion, or what do you think? Are you just going to keep talking about fetishes with, with my partner? Uh, you know what? I'm, I'll pass on the potion. Appreciate it. All right. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you guys coming by. It was very nice speaking to both of you. 
It's very nice having you two around. I felt, even though we have all these guards, it's, it always makes me feel safer to have more, more than, more numbers than this. Well, we very much appreciate your hospitality. Oh, no problem. Uh, best of luck on your journey. Thank you. He heads off, it's... he goes in the tent. He's bickering with his friend, who's just kind of flustered by the situation. And you guys, you guys going to be on your merry way? Hmm. Yeah. I suppose. All right. Do I do a little Snoopy Snoop? You want to? You want to do a Snoopy Snoop? Yeah. All right. Um. Then are you just gonna try to swipe something, or as you're heading out, or what? Just want to look around yeah. to see what's in these wagons back here. All right. All right. Uh, do an investigation. All right, well, I don't have to take out my phone for this. <laughs> uh, you look around, you don't see anything. Once again, similarly to the time that you t went into... Uh, similarly, the time that you went into the stable master's house and forgot why you were there, it happened again. Just, you were looking at everything as you swear that you're looking for something specific. But you can't think of it. So I, I guess that's the end of that. <laughs> are you are you feeling okay, Ellie? You look well, well. I I found you. Oh, were you looking the, for me? Yeah, where did you go? It's weird. You're the one that wandered off. I just found myself between these wagons, and there's an open crate. It's nothing in it. It's weird. Hmm. Well, All right, you guys okay. are gonna head towards the. Uh, Goblin Village in the south? Mm-hmm. All right. Yes. All right. No problem. Let's get you there, then. Yeah, I couldn't remember what the command was. <laughs> no worries. All right, get rid of this guy.